بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم We are going to talk about the connective tissue What is meant by a tissue? Tissue means a group of cells have more or less similar structure and functions and separated by uh, intercellular substance What about the connective tissue? What are the general characters of the connective tissue? First, they are more uh, connective tissue is mesodermal in origin What is meant by mesoderm? As we know the embryo is formed of three main tissues mesoderm, endoderm, and ectoderm and each type of tissue has its uh, origin connective tissue originates from mesoderm only the cells of the connective tissue are widely separated from each other by a large amount of the intercellular matrix this matrix is penetrated by blood vessels, lymphatics, and nerves the main function of the connective tissue is to, from its name, connect tissues with each other, supports and protects other organs. What are the components of the connective tissue? Connective tissue is formed of three components. Cells. The cells may be fixed or free. Fixed means does not move. Uh, uh, free means move, movable cells. They can uh, move from side to side. The other uh, element is the fibers. Fibers include collagen, elastic, and reticular fibers. And the matrix, which separates the cells and in which embed, Im embedded the connective tissue fibers. According to the consistency of the matrix, the connective tissue is classified into four types. The connective tissue fibers, the uh, connective tissue proper, is, the matrix is soft. If the matrix is firm, it gives rise to cartilage. If the matrix is solid, it forms bone. When the matrix is fluid, it is blood. It forms the blood. Here we are going to talk about the connective tissue proper. As we know, it's formed of three elements, cells, fibers, and matrix. The first element is the connective tissue cells. The first type of cell is the connective tissue of the connective tissue is, uh, is the mother cell of the connective tissue is the indif undifferentiated mesenchymal cells. Undifferentiated mesenchymal cells are present mainly in the embryo and in adults in it is present in certain areas like the bone marrow. By light microscope these cells appear small cells with large nucleus, small branched cells with large pale with large pale cytoplasm and central oval nucleus. By electron microscope, the cytoplasm is very rich in ribosomes, but with few organelles. The nucleus is achromatic. As we see here in the photo, there appears small cells with many branches and pale mesophilic cytoplasm and, and the nucleus is pale also. The function of the UMCs or the undifferentiated mesenchymal cells in the embryo they can differentiate to give the other types of connective tissue cells and in adults in bone marrow they give origin to the blood elements. The second type of cell is, under, uh, is the reticular cells. Reticular cells originate from undifferentiated mesenchymal cells and they are present in the stroma of different organs like spleen, lymph nodes, etc. What is meant by the stroma? Each organ is formed of two elements, the functioning cells and the supporting cells, or the functioning cells, or the functioning element and supporting element. The supporting element on which rest the functioning cells. The stroma is formed of network of cells and fibers giving rise uh, like a network on which rest the functioning cells. They form a reticulum. Reticulum means network with the reticular fibers. They, these cells appear as branched cells with many processes. They are basophilic, pale basophilic, and they are stained with silver. Another type of cell is the fibroblast. Fibroblast is the most common type of cells in the connective tissue. They originate from UMCs. They are uh, pale branched, spindle shaped branched cells 
elongated with deep basophilic cytoplasm and pale nucleus. By electron microscope, they have a chromatic nucleus with protein forming cell features, which include mitochondria, rich in mitochondria for energy, rough endoplasmic reticulum, and Golgi apparatus for protein synthesis and secretion. Their function is to form connective tissue fibers and crown substance and also share in the healing of the connective tissue after injury. The fat cells is another type of connective tissue cells. It originates also from UMCs. They are the largest cells, spherical in shape. The nucleus is peripheral and flattened. The cytoplasm forms a thin ring around a single fat droplet. It is, it, it is formed of undifferentiated mesenchymal cells which start to accumulate fat droplets. These fat droplets in, enlarged form one fat droplet occupying most of the cytoplasm and push the cytoplasm and the nucleus to the periphery and uh, forming signet ring appearance, uh, thin ring of cytoplasm with flattened peripheral nucleus and empty cytoplasm by H and E, by hematoxin and eucin. During preparation by hematoxin and eucin, the, where we use alcohol and alcohol dissolves the fat droplets, leaving an empty space, giving the signet ring appearance. Fat can be demonstrated by Sudan 3 or Sudan 3. Uh, also than black. By electron microscope, we can see a huge fat droplet with cytoplasm pushed to the periphery with few organelles. The main function of the fat cells is storage of fat. Another type of cell which it has different origin is the macrophage. Macrophage originates from a blood cell called monocyte. By light microscope, they are large cells with pseudopodia. As we know, pseudopodia uh, from the uh, topic of cytology, the extensions of the cytoplasm to give the cell its uh, a power to move or to phagocytose another structure. The nucleus of this cell is small and dark. The cytoplasm is rich in vacuoles. By electron microscope, it is con contains uh, different types of lysosomes. Different types of lysosomes include primary, secondary, and tertiary lysosomes. Their function, phagocytosis of foreign bodies and clean wounds to prepare the wound to be uh, healed. Another type of cell is the plasma cell. It is, uh, also it, is, it originates from blood cell called B lymphocyte. It is present in the lymphoid organ mainly. They are oval in shape and nucleus is eccentric with clumps, peripheral clumps of chromatin and central chromatin around the nucleolus giving rise like a clock face or cartwheel appearance of the nucleus. They are protein forming cells rich in RER, Golgi apparatus and mitochondria and have no, does not contain secretory granules. The main function of these cells is the secretion of antibodies or what's meant by humoral immunity. Humoral immunity means anti immunity based on formation of antibodies. Another type of cell is the mast cell. It originates from UMC or undifferentiated mesenchymal cell. They are present mainly in the respiratory and digestive systems. They are oval cells the cytoplasm is, is very rich of uh, secretory, large secretory granules. Plasma cells do not contain secretory granules, while mast cells contain secretory granules. By electron microscope, the cytoplasm is rich in mitochondria, Golgi apparatus, and secretory vesicles. The function of mast cell is secretion of histamine, which causes vasodilatation, heparin, which is an anticoagulant. Uh, and xenophil chemotactic factor which attracts xenophil to the site of allergy. Details will be mentioned in the topic of the blood. These structure, these uh, mediators are responsible for allergic reaction. The second element of the connective tissue is the connective tissue fibers. There are three types of fibers, white collagen fibers, 
they are wavy branching bundles formed of non wavy branching bundles of non branching fibers and they are acidophilic. The second type is the yellow elastic fibers, they are long fibers run singly or in sheets, acidophilic stains brown with ursine. The last type of fibers is the reticular fibers. They are very thin fibers, branch and smooth, forming a network. They cannot be demonstrated by hematoxin in leucine, and I, they are stained with silver. We are going to talk about the types of connective tissue proper. Connective tissue proper have many types according to the predominant elements, either the cells or the fibers. If we have a predominant element, the connective tissue proper give uh, a special a special type of its uh, of connective tissue proper. The first two type, which is the most common type, which contains all types of fibers and, and cells of connective tissue, is the loose area of connective tissue. It contains potential cavities. Potential meaning and it is normally it is not present, but it contains cavity. These cavities can accumulate fluids or gases. They are present all over the body except the brain. They bind con uh, tissues together and surrounds organs and supports epithelium and blood vessels. So the most common type of Connective tissue proper is loose area connective tissue. It contains all types of cells and all types of fibers. It is present all over the body except the brain. The second type is called reticular connective tissue. Reticular connective tissue is formed of two types mainly, reticular fibers and reticular cells. Reticular fibers, as we mentioned, they are very thin branching fibers with reticular cells, they form a network, they form the stroma of the organs. They can be stained with silver. They support the functioning cells, like the spleen, lymph node, etc. Another type of tissue, a specialized type of connective tissue, is the adipose connective tissue. It is formed mainly from uh, its name. It contains many fat cells. It is loose aerial connective tissue in which fat cells predominate. They are formed mainly of numerous fat cells. As we know, fat cells can be stained with Sudan 3, so this type can be demonstrated with Sudan 3. They are present and mainly under the skin and the mammary glands. They support uh, the support internal organs like the kidney. Insulate heat forms body contour and stores fat. The last type of cell is called fibrous connective tissue. White fibrous connective tissue. It is formed of bundles of collagen fibers and fibroblasts with minimal ground substance. They are two types of fibrous connective tissue, regular with parallel fibers and irregular with irregularly arranged condyl, collagen bundles with fibroblasts in between. The regular type is present in the tendons and the cornea and the irregular type present in the dermis of the skin and the capsule of the organ. They can withstand stress in one direction, the regular type, and the other type which is irregular can withstand stretch in different directions. In your book, you can find other types of cells or connective tissue fibers or connective tissue. It is not included in your exam. Just you, you, you are, you have to study uh, what uh, are mentioned in the lecture only. Thank you and best wishes. Thank you.